more and more families are learning to live with autism. Well, I'm about to introduce you to Seth Quast, who's not only living with autism, he's really cool because of it. Seth Quast, diagnosed autistic at two. At 18 years old, a formal evaluation suggested Seth push a dry mop around for the rest of his life. His mother said, oh, no, no, no. There's nothing wrong with dry mopping if you want to do it, but that's not Seth's thing. And then Seth picked up a paintbrush at 20. Cannot be stopped now. At 30 years old, Seth is like fire. He burns hot, he burns fast, and he is voracious, and I am the one who stokes that fire. Seth's paintbrush is a key that unlocks a window into his fantastic mind, imaginative, bold, and bright. He's untrained and he just, it just comes out of him. This painting took 250 hours because he did every single scale individually. It's like he created it from scratch. From his mind's eye? Yeah, just in his mind. He knew that this is what he wanted and he did it. This one too took a very, very long time. He wanted every dot to be different from every other dot. This is the victory of OCD, obsessive compulsive <laughs> wins, because I could never do that. You can't teach I could, that. You could not teach that, you couldn't tolerate it. I would go nuts in five minutes. His art is his voice. And Seth is speaking vibrant volumes, constantly running out of room on the walls of virtually four levels of their amazing Cleveland Heights Art Museum home a seemingly never-ending salute to Seth. Wow. I spent 20 years trying to pull Seth into my world. He couldn't do it, so it was frustrating. To, uh, uh, I'm just courting Pegasus with stars. Now I go into his world, and it's a world of magic, of beauty. self so with horses. Self-study with horses, okay. It's not practical. He can't drive, he can't run a checkbook, he can't do any of the things we think are normal. And he is still autistic, he still cannot cross the street by himself, he still cannot hold a conversation. But everything he can do, we've forgotten about. Kindness, of no lying, of integrity, of purity, Two can, Costa Rican two can. This is Seth's natural habitat. Blue whales. And two iguanas. Because Seth's masterpieces are now sold around the world, his fans getting so much more than paint on canvas. They're getting joy. Now what is this? This happens often when he's creating. That's his happy noise. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you know, yes, something good's probably coming after that. Yes. Are you happy? Yes. Good. <laughs> uh -huh. And they're getting the story of hope. Everything that was wrong is still wrong, and everything that's right is so much bigger. <laughs> because of undying love for an autistic son, Deborah Quast is now also Seth's manager, business partner, agent, and promoter. I have spent 10 years doing nothing but advocating for him. Pushing for a kid who was supposed to be pushing a mom. It was an unexpected life and made for a fabulous story. The author, Seth's fiercest supporter. We had very, very hard times and in the end it was incredibly wonderful. It was better than anything I could have expected. There are lessons in this for all of us, living with autism or not. If Seth can start to paint at 20 and I can start to write at 60, you don't know what will happen in your life. You don't know what miracles are waiting for you, what gifts are inside of you waiting to spring out. Seth is the story of never give up. We need more of Seth. Makes a, a world a better place. Trust me, I have only scratched the surface on the Seth Quas story. His artwork was chosen in a worldwide competition to be sponsored on a United Nations postal stamp. You want to learn more about him? You could go to his blog. He would love you to. It's www.growyourbrainblog.blogspot.com.